Welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be going into the Sundar Gurtika app and doing a deep dive into all the settings and options available to you. All right, so when you download the app for the first time and open it up, the first thing you're gonna see is a splash screen. And this is gonna ask you to choose your Bonnie length. And if you don't know what I mean by that, different Bonnies have different variations and different lengths you can choose from. And this is really impacting things like Rera Saib, Chope Saib, and Suela Saib. And you can choose a short, medium, long, or extra long option here. And you can always go back and change this later. And they actually added this later on after the app was released. So if you already had the app, you're not gonna see this, but you can always go back in the settings to change this after the fact. So for me, I'm gonna choose the long option for right now. And I'll show you in a second how to go back and edit that if you want to. So once you're in the app, you'll see a whole list of Bonnies to choose from. And right away, we can open up something like Japji Saib and you can start reading it if you'd like. But what you can also do is go to the bookmark on the top right and you can choose the very specific section you want to go read. So this is very helpful for Bonnie's like Jop Saib, for example, which is a little longer and you can go to a very specific section like this. Or if you want to go to Sukhmuni Saib and if you're you know, at a program at Gurdwara and they've already started, you can jump ahead to where the Sangat is already reading. So very helpful instead of having to scroll through, just pick exactly where you want to go. So the next thing here is the settings and this is really where all the options live. So the first one here is the font size. I personally like the medium option, but depending on your eyesight, you may want something larger or smaller than that. And to go along with the font size, you also have the ability to choose your font face. And I didn't really know this existed even. If you go to the, the lower options here, like Gurbani Akritik, the last option, and you go back to the Bani, you'll see it's much bolder. And this is very, very helpful for people who are unable to read smaller or thin text. Now, once you've chosen your font size and your font face, the next option here is for transliteration. And this is not the same as translation. There's a very big difference there. If we turn on the English transliteration and go back to the Bonnie, you're gonna see the Gurmukhi being transliterated into English. And there are a few different languages you can choose from here. This is a new feature they've added. So you can change this to Hindi or Shamukhi or the International Phonetic Alphabet. And you'll see if you go back to the Bonnie now that it's being transliterated into the language so you can read it as if you're reading Gurmukhi. But if you go back into the settings, you also have the option for translations, which is the meanings of what you are reading. So if you turn this on for English, you'll see the translations appear below the text. So very helpful. Again, multiple options to choose from. You have Punjabi and Spanish as options as well. The next option here is for dark mode. Dark mode is something that's personal preference, honestly. It's really helpful for nighttime. I don't like it personally, so I'm just gonna turn it off for right now. And the next option is something I do like, which is the hide status bar. And if you're reading Nithinim in the morning, it can be very tempting to look at the time or have distractions come up. So hide status bar will actually turn off the time. So if you turn this feature off, you'll see the time and your battery appear on the top of the screen. But turn it on and you will see that disappear. So it just helps you stay focused on the Bonnie you're reading. The next feature here is auto scroll and I love this feature a lot. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna go back to the Bonnie and you'll see at the bottom of the screen a play button with a scroll bar come up and this will let you press play and the Bonnie will automatically start scrolling for you. And you can adjust the speed of the scroll by dragging the bar. And you can see here I'm on an iPhone and it's really annoying because it's the same place as the app switcher. But if you're on an Android, that won't be an issue or an iPad, it won't be an issue either. But once you get the uh, adjustment set, you can just forget about it and it's there. And you can always press play or pause to stop the scroll from happening. And you can scroll like normal at any time as well. So I love this feature. It makes it very easy to have an iPad or a phone, put it on a stand and just let it scroll by itself. Below the auto scroll option, you also have the ability to keep screen awake. And this is exactly what it says. It'll just make sure your phone doesn't go to sleep while you have the app open. Now, once we scroll down over here, the next thing we have is edit Bonnie order. And this is something that I recommend you do if you read Nithnam on the phone every morning, you can add your Nithnam Bonnie to the top of the list. So that way you don't have to keep scrolling through. The list that comes up by default is not very user friendly. All the Bonnies are kind of mixed and matched around. So I recommend putting your frequently read Bonnies on your phone on the top so you can easily access them. 
Now going back to the next option here, which is the Bonnie length. Again, we talked about this when we first opened the app. You can choose your length here. So if you read the longer data side, you can choose that option here, or the shorter one, you can choose that option here. This really only impacts very few. So Rera Saib, Chope Saib, and Suella Saib. I don't believe it impacts anything else. So if you're seeing that you're missing a certain part of your body that you normally read, it's probably because your setting isn't correct over here. So the next option here is for Ladivad. And this is exactly what it sounds. Turn this on and Ladivad will be enabled. There is no feature right now for Ladivad Assist, but there are other apps you can download for learning how to read Ladivad with an Assist toggle. So only turn this on if you're fully comfortable reading in Ladivad. The next option is for paragraph mode, and I actually like this turned on, but if you are slower at reading Gurmukhi, turning this off is very, very helpful because what it will do, it'll split apart every single line after the line break. So in Job Saib especially, if you don't want all the lines combined together into one section, you can turn off paragraph mode and that will actually separate each individual line so you can clearly see and read it one by one. But if you want a smaller page, you can turn on paragraph mode and that will combine everything by section. So this is very useful if you want to divide and space out your Bonnie. But again, it's really a personal preference. The default is with paragraph mode turned on. The next two options here are really meant to accommodate the different schools of thought that exist for specific things in Gurbani. In this case, we have two options, one for the Mangalcharan position, if you want to change that to be above the Rag heading. And the second one here is for a very specific line within Chope Saib. If you want to change that spelling, you can do that within this setting. The next option after this is for Vishrams. I actually like this one a lot. If you turn on Vishrams, you're going to see different colors appear in your body and the colors represent pauses. So a red color will mean a hard pause or a yellow color will mean a shorter pause. Think of it like a stoplight. It's really helpful for Bonnie's that you aren't familiar with especially, just knowing where to pause while you're reading it. So it's very helpful to have and you can also change the style of it. So I like changing it to the gradient background personally and this just changes the look of the Bonnie a little bit. And it's really important that we use colors like this. Instead of adding things like commas or semicolons, we don't want to be adding different characters to Gurbani. The next option here is for reminders. If you want to be reminded every morning or at night to be doing your bot, your nithnim, you can turn on reminders. It's going to ask you to allow push notifications. So I'm going to press allow. And then you can go to the reminder options and you can choose which time and what the little banner will say when it reminds you. So if you want a reminder every day at 6 p.m. to do Rira Saib, you can turn that on over here. So a very small touch that really helps just keep you on track for your nickname. And then also, if you scroll down, you also have the ability to choose the reminder sound. And this is something that's really interesting. There's a few different options here. The default is just your default phone sound, but you have the option for two other ones, one called Wake Up Jup and Waiguru Soul. So I'm gonna play a sample for each one right now. Now lastly, you do have the option to turn off something called Collect Statistics. And what this is doing is the Sundar Gurtka app is just tracking analytics. And it's really helpful for the team to see how many people are opening certain things or changing certain settings. So keeping this on is obviously something that's very beneficial, but you don't have to do it. So that's it. We've gone through every single setting in the app at this point. I hope you guys learned something new in this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or any feature suggestions, leave them down below as well. And I'll forward them along to the team that develops the app. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye Gurji Ka Khalsa, Bye Gurji Ki Fateh.